Many of our users and customers come to Census when a large vulnerability drops to understand impact across the entire internet, as well as their own infrastructure. And let's face it, parsing software from the banner alone just wasn't cutting it in terms of being able to connect those CPE vulnerabilities with the software that we were seeing on our scans. With Search 2.0, we've improved our detection of software, operating systems, and IoT devices. We now label software OS and devices according to the CPE format for easy interplay with other tools. That means you can search for specific CPE URLs using uh, some of the, our new syntax. So if I search services, or excuse me, service software, you can see this uniform research identifier is available as a field, and you can just select those specific CPE URLs to find hosts presenting that particular version of software. What's also nice, if I click into a host, you can see the different software lit out, and these links allow you to pivot to find other infrastructure presenting that same software. So if I wanted to now look at OpenVDS running the SSH, I can find all hosts that we see running that particular type of software. You can also search for specific product vendors uh, and versions as well. So this can be broken out into something like, you know, show me all hosts presenting um, the IAS product coming from Microsoft, obviously. And, you know, you can say things like 7.5 or just say any version is fine. Lastly, you can use the same service operator to look for combinations of web servers and web frameworks. The same service operator does exactly what it says. You know, it allows you to search for attributes that are presenting on the same service. So here we're looking for services running Microsoft IAS 10, along with an ASP web application framework. And if we click into this, you should be able to see what that looks like. There it is. The hope is with Census Search 2.0, you have even more high fidelity signal about the services exposed on the internet and the software that is powering them. As always, if you have more questions about this, you can always visit our documentation. And in this data definitions field, we have a whole section dedicated to the software values that we're parsing, and any of these can be used in your search syntax.